1945, of course, there are two very important dates, VE Day and VJ mm -hmm. Day. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts when the war in Europe came to an end, Bill or Hazel? Well, I was in um, Miami, at the University of Miami, and this was our third semester. And uh, uh, we were, we were very, we, our, our skipper, our, the commanding officer of our unit called us together. Uh, well, this was when President Roosevelt died, which was just before the BE Day. Yes. And uh, he called us together to tell us about President Roosevelt being um, killed um, or dying. And uh, then we had uh, uh, VE Day. It, you know, it was almost a non-event for us because we were in the Navy and we were facing Japan and uh, we, we only had another six months bef of probably of training before we would go into the fleet. And the, even that could have been cut short because of uh, the, the, the timing. Yes. Um, and uh, so we were, uh, w we had expected to win the war at this point. I think all the time I was in the service, there was not much doubt about are we going to win the war. Right. Uh, but that wasn't true right after Japan, right after uh, Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a much different feeling in yeah. the mm -hmm. early 1942. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. As opposed to when you graduate after D Day, had, the invasion had been launched. And so at least the European theater is, is coming to an end. Were some of the men in your training group um, concerned about the possibility of getting on the boat, going through the canal zone, and over to the Pacific? Well, we didn't talk about that much. We, 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 were, we were prepared for that. We yes. were preparing for that. And. Uh, what I remember about Miami is it was a great place to to spend the last year of the war. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we we had a, I had a, we, we we were active in in college life. We had a football team at University of Miami, and, mm -hmm. and I was pledged my Kappa Sigma fraternity, and so in a lot of ways it was um, a son of kind of an unrealistic thing about the war. Uh, it was almost, um, I'm, I'm probably saying these things in, in, out of memory. What I remember now about that time was yes. not being afraid of going to war, going into the battles. I don't remember that. I was concerned about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I undoubtedly was. and. Uh, uh, we were just accepting. We were accepting that the, the situation that we were in the service and we were going to probably have to go to battle. The duty involved. Hmm? The duty in the battle. The yeah, duty, yeah, right. Uh -huh. yeah, but in the meantime, we were having a good time while we could. And uh, <laughs> in Miami, it was like shore leave. Yeah, in Miami, it was a great place. Well, we had we had twenty different military units in located in uh, the Air Force, the Homestead Air Base, and uh, there was a, a lot of uh, Florida, Florida. Florida was full of bases, yes. training bases. Mm -hmm. yeah.